एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लर्न जर्मन विद योगिता सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ वेरी स्मॉल टॉपिक इंटेरोगेटिव आर्टिकल इंटेरोगेटिव आर्टिकल सो बेसिकली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वास्क्योर आइन और आइन उंट वेल्श वास्क्योर आइन आइन वेल्श सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वास्क्योर आइन और आइन सो द लिटरल ट्रांसलेशन इज वट काइंड ऑफ what kind of so we use was pure ein or einer to ask usually something in a general sense what kind of book you are reading what kind of movie you are watching so what kind of so basically we use was pure ein oder einer when we have no idea no information or when something new is for example Was your ein book list do? Was your ein book list do? So here in this question, what kind of book are you reading? What kind of book are you reading? In this case, we have no idea what kind of book. It can be a novel. It can be a magazine. It can be any book. We have no idea. But opposite to was your ein einer, we have Welsh. so basically welsh we have ending in our last class we done welsh with ending welsh 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 so welsh have endings according to the uh, gender for example if it is masculine so welsh feminine welsh so now the literal translation is which which so it is used to ask for a specific answer which book you are reading so i am reading the book of jk rowlings or i am reading the book of chetan bhagat so i have information here so when i have information i have idea when something known is there is a known domain so we use welsh or the welsh welshes so for example welsh's book list to welsh's book list to now here we have to give a specific answer which book are you reading so i am reading the book of chetan bhagat i am reading the book of jk rowlings so here my author my writer is known so was your i for when something unknown is and welsh or a welshes or welsh when something known is now we are going to see some more example to learn these both topic in details so let's see now we have here two examples for was your ein in was your ein restaurant guest to gain in was your ein restaurant guest to gain so here we don't have idea in which restaurant so i can give here one idea ish gear ish gear in इटालियन which restaurant so here i can name the restaurant maybe it can be roma italia so it can be roma italia or it can be something else but here i have to mention the name and in this case was your i in case i can just give an idea it can be chinese it can be indian food it can be any food but not exact information similarly Bicycle swai example two. Was your leader hears two? Was your leader hears two? What types of song are you listening? What type of songs? So again, no exact information. So I can answer. Uh, is your English leader? English leader. So is your English leader? Now. Welsh leader hears two. Welsh leader hears two. So which songs? Now I have to mention the name here. 
So is here a suicide? Aurora runway. So I have to mention the name here. So now moving to our last example. Let's see. So our last example. Auf was für ein Konzert gehst du? Auf was für ein Konzert gehst du? What kind of concert you like to go? What kind of concert you like to go? So here again I can give some little bit information. Here I can say Ich gehe auf rock concert. Ich Ich gehe auf rock concert so now i know this is a rock concert but i don't know who is the artist who is the band here so i can just give an idea of rock concert but in this case auf welches concert gehst du auf welches concert gehst du which concert you like to go which concert you like to go so i can write here Ich gehe auf Konzert von Milano. Ich gehe auf Konzert von Milano. Now I know in this case the artist is Milano. But in this case we don't have information regarding the artist. We know this is just rock concert. But here we have information Milano. So, so with these three examples, I believe this topic interrogative article is little bit clear to you. If yes, so try to write some examples, some sentences in the comment section below. If you like my video, do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Auf Wiedersehen!